thing he's in that grass. Maybe one of these days we'll learn and actually start bringing a net around it. Two good bluegill right there. They're not size we were. Dang, just look at that. That's, that's, that's a pretty bass. That's about a half pound of rider. <laughs> and we're uh, we're just get out here getting panfish for a catch and cook. We're gonna be doing it on location, which means I got a little stove because the base won't let me catch the grass on fire. And uh, yeah, we're gonna cook it up. That bucket's filling up fast. So we're literally just throwing worms on a size six hook with a tiny little split shot to catch these monster brim. And Bubba's finding getting, their beds. and we're finding their beds with an alligator following us because he wants to eat all our fish. There we go. You gonna keep her or throw her? <laughs> I never get invited to go out again. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Right there. Not the beer. Jeez, like monster. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, that's a good size bass too. Personal bet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he went to the gator. He was like, eat me. I'm gonna come over here to land him. I don't want to risk it. I'm not used to this super light wire line. That's a good sized bass right there. I'm proud of that bass. He's confused now. Oh, there he goes. Go cracker. That's one of the behemoths that we were catching yesterday. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Right now. Fillet him now. I brought one. That's what that is. I was like, what is going on here? Another shorty. Ooh. It's feeling like it. Feeling like a bass. I didn't even have time to properly grab my rod. All right, so pretty much we got the pan right here warming up on this little thingy right here. And it is hot already. Cool. Bubba's over there filleting poor innocent fish in front of this poor innocent family. And uh, then we're going to cook it up for you. But yeah, we brought butter, mostly melted butter because it's hot out. Sorry, Bubba. And some seasoning. This is steak seasoning. And I don't know if you knew this, Bubba, but this is like Submariner Cook's uh, cure-all to everything. Mid fillet! Mid fillet! Is that a good one? Hey! Give these fillets a couple of little rinse off. I'll throw down a bunch of butter. This stuff, 
I don't know why, but I, I'm absolutely in love with it. And I know it's fish, but I'm gonna put steak seasoning on it. There we go. Now we're just gonna leave it till it's uh, nice and flaky and whatnot, and then we'll be good to go. Of course, there's a flip in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's almost done anyways. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna just let it, I'm gonna just take it off the heat and let it cool down. Just let it sit there and finish up. Well, that was a that was a good, awesome uh, catch and cook. You guys didn't see it. I had a couple of beers with me. Now I'm drinking Arizona. I'm almost out of beverages. There we go. I like the sound effect you made. It's all right for white people cooking. The bill's a little soft, but... Didn't know I was cooking for Mr. Ramsey over there. And there's the catch and cook you guys requested. One challenge down, 200 left to go. If you guys like this video, go down there and hit that like button. While you're down there, you might as well go over and hit the subscribe button. That way you're entered into the giveaway. Uh, what is it, General Outdoors, you had your time. It's been a week, you messed up. Sorry, I'm gonna do, do, redoing the giveaway. So um, that video should be up pretty soon. I'm picking the new winner and we will see how it goes. I will see you guys next time I post.